Hi everyone, it's me Darlene with Sheepish Bangs and I still have not dyed my hair. I bought a black hair dye, a box of black hair dye when Skyla was here and every day I say, oh, I need to dye my hair but then all of a sudden it's time to take my shower and I haven't done that yet so I will get to it. I have a new plan now for my decluttering moving forward. What I... Uh, told you I wanted to do has worked for me, but now I need to kick it up a notch and uh, You know still want to hold myself accountable. So I want to explain to you what my new plan is for now and I want to show you Around again. I don't remember the last time I showed you what I was doing or what I had accomplished but I'm going to show you the upstairs and downstairs and uh, Just give you an update I'm not going to go in the cellar right now. Uh, you know, the next time I go down there to work down there again, I'll show you an update of that. The big uh, room in the newer side of the cellar is really different. I, you know, I have gotten rid of a lot of stuff there, I'm assuming, since the last time I showed it to you. So here's what I have been doing. Every day that the dump is open, they're closed Sunday and Monday, I have gone to the dump every single day. I don't care if it's garbage or recycling. I try to always have something for the donation bin. And it feels like very little amounts. But, you know, there are most times that I have, like, maybe at least six bags for the donation bin. But that's, like, garbage. Uh, not garbage size. Uh, grocery size bags. But, again... If I do that five days a week, you know, that's quite a bit of stuff when you think of it. Still doesn't really make a dent, but whatever. I'm just trying to make myself feel good about, you know, the stuff that I have been doing. But now I'm coming to the point where, oh yeah, so I used to do uh, that five days a week. And then on Sundays, since the dump was closed Sunday and Monday, Sundays I really started getting stuff ready for Goodwill and then on Monday I would get more stuff ready for Goodwill and then I would go to Goodwill on Monday. But now I'm running into, um, first of all, I'm just getting tired of just looking for things to recycle or to throw away or to donate. Now I'm running into things that I, you know, either don't want to make a decision on, you know, or things that I know I'm going to bring with me, or things that I know can go to Goodwill, but, uh, you know, maybe it's a little harder to pack, and, you know, anyway, so I've decided that, oh my god, I make things so complicated, but like I said, I have to have things planned and kind of scheduled, like if I know I have to do a certain thing every day, then that's what I do, because I, I tell myself I have to do that. And it especially helps if I tell you that I have to do that. So now I think moving forward until my plan changes again, I want to just do whatever feels good at the moment. It might be like putting books that need to go to Goodwill um, in boxes and not too big of boxes so I can actually carry them downstairs when it's time and you know just put that aside maybe still just in one of the bedrooms upstairs that's where my books are and then you know after a while I could say oh I have enough here for a goodwill run so I don't want to focus so much on having to leave the house every day as much as I want to focus on just really getting things packed and then I also have to try to get someone to come and pick up some big things because I need some big things out of the way just so I can, you know, finish. And like in the cellar, some big things are so in my way that I can't get to the other things that I could possibly be throwing away at the dump or whatever. So um, just start packing whatever feels right start packing stuff like photo albums because I'm so distraught over photo albums but I can't see myself just throwing them away honestly if I could have a fire and burn them I probably would but you know <sighs> I mean Derek may want them someday I don't know see I can't I can't think about it I just I don't like to look at pictures I just don't but I 
I feel like I don't know what to do and if I do indeed hire a moving truck to move my stuff uh, I just want to be ready to know what I'm going to do with those so I think I'm gonna pack them it's just like I have a bunch of slides and a projector I even have the old original projector and the screen in the cellar I don't care about that I don't even know if that projector is going to work even the new one that I have uh, when I say new I probably bought that 30 years ago or more than that um, I can't bring myself to just destroy those slides. Those slides are from like my brothers and my sister when they were young. So um, I'm going to pack it and just assume I'm taking it with me. Derek wants all the VHS tapes because it's his whole life. My father recorded everything. And there's a lot. And I would have liked him to have gone through those when he was here because I have a VCR. And, but he, you know, there just wasn't enough time. So I think I'm gonna just be packing all that and taking it with me. We can throw this stuff away there if it's something we don't want. I also need to bring a running VCR. I think I have three still here in this house so I need to do stuff like that and I also can continue to do like cabinets drawers I've got my mother's cedar chest to go through oh my god I you know what I'd almost like to do with that cedar chest if it could be picked up by two handsome men <laughs> I'm hoping my movers are handsome uh, I almost would be willing to take that to Mississippi without even opening it and just you know leaving it there as a mystery cedar chest Skyla would probably like to see what's in there but I just can't I can't bring myself to look at that and I do think that my mother got that as a wedding gift so it would be cool to have one old thing from my mother I don't know see I don't want to be bringing my hoard there I don't but I also feel like if I don't give myself permission to do some things to make it less painful for me uh, that I'll never get done you know I, I have to find a way to finish this and if it means having to bring some things with me then that's what it has to be or at least at this point <laughs> going so on and on about this at least at this point I can tell myself that and leave it sitting there until the end maybe by then I'll have changed my mind for instance in the closet because I never pick a spot and completely finish because there's always painful things that I can't deal with so I walk away and I, I start on something else but in the closet, I'll show it to you today, that was in my mother's room that had a lot of clothes. I didn't know what to do with uh, the wedding clothing. My dress that I made, my husband's suit, and my father's suit, and uh, uh, th there was even the bouquet that my mother put together for me. She was very, very good at flower arranging, whether real or artificial. So I left that up until yesterday, and I was torn. I knew it's not stuff I wanted to keep. And I was torn, though, about giving a wedding dress that I made away or do I throw it in the trash, in the dump. Now, I know some people think that's very selfish of me because other people could use that. But again, I have to do what it takes to make me able to accomplish a task, meaning getting that shit out of my house. I have been very generous and with the stuff that I've been giving away, I mean, Goodwill, if you went shopping there, there is a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, and clothing too. So I don't feel guilty. I have to think of myself first. Isn't that amazing? You know, we do need to do that sometimes. And the suits, I wasn't as attached to them, and I thought, you know... <sighs> You know, those would be good to donate. Maybe I can toss my dress, but I felt like that shit had to go together. See, I, I just, I overthink things, and, I, and I'm, I'm just way too emotional. And I, I kind of had decided it was going to the dump, to the trash bin. And, um, but then when I got the bouquet of flowers, for some reason, I did not want to throw away the, the artificial flowers that my mother put together. So I decided that I wanted to donate that. 
and uh, so since everything had to go together, I had to donate the other stuff, so I donated my entire dress. And I didn't take it out of the plastic. I didn't want to look at it. But uh, it was clear, so I could see. I can't believe all the stuff and the details I did. It was really nice, but, you know. And then I think of showing you guys some of these things, but I can't. I can't. All right, so why don't we just walk around? Because I think I've talked enough. I almost have a headache from it. <laughs> Let's go walk around, and I'll show you. Oh, and I don't do, like, uh, show you a before picture right now because the way I edit um, on a very old thing, it's very hard, uh, an old thing. My video editor is ancient, and I can't just keep clips and make that easy. It would have been nice if I would have taken snapshots of everything before I started, but I didn't think to do that. I do have a playlist, and if you want to see the befores, just look for the videos that have a thumbnail or title that say something about house tour, room tour, cellar tour, um, my mother's closet. You know, those are the videos that you'll see um, the befores. As for my sewing area, nothing much ever changes here. I still have some bolts that I'm working on. I have some stuff that I'm working on for next week's sale. That box came from my mother's side. I'm going to be sorting those and cutting half, uh, half yard cuts. There's always a new little pile over there and I still have all this shit here in this corner that I really need to start working on. I think I might have showed you that I accomplished some stuff here, but see, I start and then I stop because I didn't know what to do with other things. Those are things that I, you know, probably will be keeping some of those things. I don't know. There's still a box there and there's a little um, tiny like suitcase type thing that I found that I had when I was a child and there was a, an old heating pad in there and I just don't know if I want to keep that case. It's one of those things that I might have to keep for a little while and then I'll be able, you know, be able to donate it later. And then stuff here that varies. Every time something's a little bit more empty, I bring something else up. It's stuff that I can go through at this table at night when I want to go through things. As for my mother's side, again, not too much has changed, but I think we are down to one layer of boxes, not stacked. Of course, there are other boxes that end up joining the party. Uh, a lot of bolts have been depleted because those couldn't lean over before. They were all standing up and it was full at one point. And then uh, even the Lorelei ones, that was like full. And I have depleted quite a bit there. And there's one of my squirrels enjoying some peanut butter, and some bird seeds. These drawers are filled with stuff, and those are too, but I think the rest have all been emptied, but not all these. I have a lot to do, a lot, and some of them are just so filled with stuff. You know, a lot of stuff that my mother had, and a lot of stuff here. Oh, it's full to the top. This area that was looking cleaner than this at one point is looking cluttered again, but it's almost all empty boxes, empty tubs. Even those boxes are empty. Uh, I think there is one box back there that might still have some fabric that I have to go through. But right now I'm just keeping all the boxes that I can because I don't know how many I will need. This little room hasn't changed much at all since the last time I showed it to you and again on the bed pretty much everything there is you know empty boxes I'm even keeping the uh, laundry baskets because sometimes I just fill that up for goodwill and I just give them the laundry basket there are some uh, floppy disks under that box and a lot of stuff my rubber stamping TVs oh my goodness and this room is still empty with a few exceptions. Oh, I have a couple of bags. Oh, I got a lamp I got to get rid of. I have worked a little tiny bit in this um, closet. I was, uh, I don't remember. What did I get out of there? I did. Oh, I think a lot of just recycling things. So see, there's a lot of books that I can start packing. 
and there's some photo albums there and then there's all the slide stuff and uh, oh my goodness my old re um, record player that red thing all stuff I don't feel like looking at now we're in my you know my mother's then my husband's bedroom and I did start in this closet too there wasn't really much clothes hanging there was some but this goes back and it's deep and it's all like afghans or blankets and see that cubby is all empty I emptied one brought that to goodwill all afghans down there and this is a box filled with pictures which I hate and some stuff up there Derek's little toy dog from when he was just an infant and so yeah this is the cedar chest that I talked about and there's a lot more photo albums there and a VCR there's a VCR in the little room that we just looked at and there's also one downstairs this is that closet that was full of clothing it's got some old wallpaper in there I still have a lot of stuff down here that I have to go through which I will a purse that I'm undecided on because I could use a bag every now and then but I don't know Ugh. while I'm up here I think I am going to box some of those books this is my goodwill pile all the books a photo album that was never opened and a scale and then over here are all my photo albums and I found my four yearbooks that box is incredibly painful to me and I tell you this because I think there are some others out there who are pained by memories the past photos uh, that's you know my entire drunk life there and uh, I just you know I don't like it at all so I'm you know I just tell you how it is for me because I know somebody can relate and it still doesn't seem like it makes much of a dent because there's still stuff there I um, you know I might get rid of some of this stuff I don't need all of these and they're older too so I don't know if they've changed since then so I don't know if I need that bubble wrap I hardly think so so I'm gonna clean up a little bit more of this and then I will talk to you again downstairs I emptied almost all of it but what I do is I just bagged the things that I know I can get rid of and I'm going to do that downstairs because it's easier because I have to have different piles recycling trash and plastics the reason there's a bag there in that book is because I'm hoping to find the knitting machine that I have somewhere in this house and the book would go with it so if I want to donate I could have the book and then that bag just too painful to go through it's much later in the day I did some other stuff that I have to do so now I'm going to wrap up this video and then I can spend the entire rest of the evening cutting fabric also though I do want to pick a drawer or several drawers and you know clean something else instead of you know going to the dump every day I couldn't on Sundays anyway uh, but all next week I'm not going to force myself to go to the dump at all and only goodwill if I have enough to fill my car so that won't happen for probably a couple of weeks but what I want to do is spend more time in the house doing things like emptying drawers especially because it's surprising how long it takes to do that because there's so much stuff to look at it's not like a closet where it's all clothes and it's like okay I can get rid of this get rid of this so I'm gonna try to do more uh, stuff in the house during the day like you know maybe two or three different sessions just to I don't know it's just my plan we're gonna see how that works the photo albums that I hate so much uh, I'm going to just bring those I thought I could probably go through those and throw away so many of those pictures that I want no memories of but I think I'm gonna still just do that in Mississippi Skylar might like to look at some of those things and then my plan is anything that Derek wants to keep or that Skylar wants to keep or that I want to keep we'll just pull them out 
make some new albums so there's not so many <laughs> albums and you know just handle it that way a lot of the pictures that my mother had on walls everywhere that come in frames if they're just cheapy frames I'm going to take them out of the frames the glass frames or whatever and just lay them all flat in boxes and bring those with me because I, I don't think I'll get around to wanting to look at that stuff probably ever but I don't want to just throw all that away and I don't know why because my son won't even know 90% of the people in those pictures I mean we're talking about pictures from way back you know just my father's family my father as a child you know just stuff like that it's just my mother's relatives and all the relatives you know in those days people took a lot of pictures but anyway I'm not I can't I can't I can't worry about it or think about it I'm just gonna cry to what the hell was that noise? I'm just going to try to condense as much as possible those things that are so painful and just take them fucking with me. Now, um, I think I did say, I'm going to look, uh, I'm looking, my stove top under there are cabinets filled with craft stuff. So maybe I could even work on that a little bit. I didn't show you anything in particular that I want to work on because again I just like to go from place to place but I I feel a little relieved that I don't have to be forced to find enough stuff for the dump because that was starting to become kind of difficult to do and uh, so I like my new plan alright uh, I guess that is it oh I wanted to show you one thing and I think Derek will want this I can't believe we still have this. 1984, it's a little, just a little advertising flyer. Not a flyer, a pamphlet, I guess I could say. It's like a little booklet. And my father didn't even know, but they ended up taking a picture of a lobster boat. And it was my father's lobster boat. And it looks kind of cruddy there, but I think the page is probably a little bit old too. But that was my father's lobster boat that I absolutely loved. I felt like it was a yacht. And the name of it was DMD for Dolores, my sister, Marguerite, my mother, and Darlene. The three women in his life. I guess I'm going to sign off now. I am feeling good about my new plan. And even feeling good about almost completely emptying that cabinet I'm not taking that cabinet out of that closet they can buy the house with that in there and you know again I have so much more to do I can handle all the the um, slides and the projector and stuff box all that stuff and I'm just leaving those boxes up there I hire movers they can take those boxes down the goodwill boxes I will take down only when I know I'm going to goodwill I don't want that all you know, piled up around here. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, jeez. Hang on. That was my mother. We just hung up before I finished recording, but she had to call again. All right, that is it. I'm saying goodbye, and I'll be back with more soon. Bye.